All right. Oh, it's a beautiful day in October. I tell you what. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm still trying to figure out my camera noise issue. Uh, well, my mic noise issue, the, uh, the reverberation and all that. And again, I think it does have a lot to do with the, uh, the type of mic it is. And the fact that it's inside a helmet, which is not necessarily the, the acoustics that it was intended to handle. Although you would think... <laughs> you would think that since this is an actual helmet cam, that it was actually designed with the idea that maybe somebody's going to put this mic inside a helmet. After my crash last year, after breaking my shoulder, I'm not 100% comfortable with the idea of pulling a 20 gauge shotgun up to my shoulder. So I'm taking my 22 up to a gun shop on the other side of Mannheim. I'm going to see if they're able to help me out a little bit. It's got these dovetails on it so that you can attach like a Weaver mouse to it. I have Weaver mouse that fit it just fine. The problem is, I'm trying to change it so that it's not using a regular optic scope. Get a little freaked out by odd sounds when you're on a motorcycle, you're, especially when you're a mechanic. You hear something a little bit out of place and you think, oh crap, what just fell off? But if you can see by my shadow, I've got my uh, gun bag right there. And it's just a little 22, but for squirrels or any of those others, it's fine. You just, you just rolled out the sensor. Just went straight past the sensor. The sensor's here. Pennsylvania recently changed the law, and it recently went into effect that if you come to a red light and it doesn't change for what you perceive to be two cycles, well, it doesn't say what you perceive to be, but that's what it's really going to come down to. If it doesn't change for two cycles of the, of the light, or what's a reasonable amount for two cycles of the light, one would hope, you can go so long as it's safe. Treat it like a stop sign, basically. So that has made a lot of motorcyclists very happy, including me. This is the area north of Mannheim. We just came through Mannheim, Pennsylvania. Mannheim's a nice little town. Uh, there's a lot of hometown pride in that town, which you, uh, you really don't see a lot of anymore in most places. The Golden Circle. I'm doomed! Must have been a Viking battle down in the valley. I love squirrel hunting. Squirrel hunting's a lot of fun. I have a squirrel that my buddy and I, we were out. My, my buddy and I were actually duck hunting. And I had duck bows loaded in my 12 gauge. He saw this squirrel coming across the tree with it and he said, I don't want to be one of them. I'm like, eh, yeah, why not? And so, I saw this squirrel, he's running across the wind, he's got a nut in his mouth. I took the shot. He fell in the water. I picked him up by his tail. That squirrel was dead as a doornail, but he still had a death grip on that nut. Took him to the taxidermist and said, I want this, I want this stuff, and I want you to, to make sure he's got that nut in his mouth. Because that's a story right there. So he sits above one of my bookcases <laughs> with that nut, proudly held in his mouth. <laughs> Looking for a place directly across the room. The room there is right there. I think that's here. Oh, morning center. All right, that that went really well. That's a large pile of horse manure. That went really well. I had an issue with the Weaver mounts on my old 22. I'd lost a bolt out of them. So it only held on when it runs over. Ooh, now that right there would interest me. Uh, this is Iron Valley, Hartley Davidson. I figured I'm up here. It's a motorcycle shop. Why not go in? The funny thing is, the exhaust on this gets laughs out of everybody. It's a bit of comedy. And I do like comedy. I will freely admit I am much more into the metric side of things. But I like the 883 Sportster. I like the Sportster line. I've always liked the look of them. They look clean. You know what I mean? They, they look simple. They, they have that 
It's in a sequoia, as the French say. I don't know what. A certain indefinable something that makes them interesting to me. Now, they are poo-pooed by the Harley crowd, but... The bigger Harley shakes so much, I think that they kind of uh, shaken their brains loose. I would ride a Sportster. Happily. Now, I'm not in the market for any bike right now. My dream garage is a, uh, a Grom. This. Now, this is this is what I love. That's ATM Duke 390. It's cool. And it looks fun. The, the thing about small bikes is they're fun. For me, my biggest thing is, am I having fun? And for me, scooters are fun. I think anything bigger than an 883 Sportster would take the fun out of riding for me. And that's the whole thing. That's the point behind the Grom. That's the point behind the new Kawasaki whatever it is. With their little Grom takeoff. They're designed to be fun. They're designed to be ridden around by a hooligan. <laughs> They're not designed to be taken terribly seriously. And I think too many people want to be taken seriously. I don't. The greatest compliment that I could receive is that I brought somebody joy. That I made somebody smile. That for me, right there, happiness. Right there, the sign says 55. I know I'm not wearing gloves, sorry. The sign says 55. But people, you know, they, they go 45, 50. Never really actually get to the speed limit. And it's really frustrating to me because you know, when you're on this road, you see that speed limit sign, you want to go to the speed limit at least. And when people aren't doing that, it's just, eh, why not? Do that wasn't English, don't worry. You know, it's kind of funny how simple it is to carry stuff on a bike. I've got my 22 on the back here. Now, all that's holding it on is a bungee, but it's held on firmly and securely. No problem. Does it wiggle around at all? Probably changing my fuel economy just a bit because uh, causing some wind resistance. Oh, I love it. It's such a beautiful day. Now, this guy's going to pull out right in front of me. Really. Thanks for watching, folks. Please like, share, subscribe. Scootin' full out.